Alrighty, so today I'm making a quick video about the most bang for your buck, super, super warm, puffy mountaineering jacket. I had no idea that there were jackets of this quality with this level of down that literally could be taken on and have been taken on mountaineering journeys to plus 6,000 meters and done really well for this price point. This jacket was only $150, and I'm gonna tell you why it's pretty much better than anything else on the market right now. Quick disclaimer, I'm not sure if this is available in America, but it does come from Decathlon. And if you can't get this exact jacket, there is another version of this for almost the same price with slightly less features that is 100% sure available in America. So before I get too far into the video, I also want to say that I actually just picked this jacket up today. So this isn't gonna be a long-term review, but just gonna be kind of talking about why I got it. Also, just my research on that and what other people, the good things other people have said about it. And another thing is, by the same brand, Simon, I have another jacket that I've been using for about two months every single day, and I know that's not super long, but it's been holding up really well so far. So yeah, let's get into the video. All right, so if you go into REI or you go on pretty much any outdoor gear website, whether it be Mountain Equipment, Mountain Hardware, Patagonia, Arteryx, Columbia, pretty much any decent mountaineering equipment website and you look for a down jacket that is 850 fill power down compacts about to the size of a small sleeping bag includes a hood cinch two-way zipper a waist cinch two chest pockets two hand warmer pockets a felt lined area by your mouth and yeah like I said 850 fill power down you're not gonna find anything cheaper than maybe at the very cheapest with 850 fill power down maybe 350. Um, I'm not even sure about that because when I was looking on REI on all these different brands, I didn't find anything that matched the specs of this jacket for anywhere less than $500. So for those reasons, I decided to pick this guy up. Yeah, this is the Simon Mountaineering men's down jacket. And the price tag on this guy is absolutely insane. It was only $150. Now granted, I am living in France right now, so the decathlons I have here and the euro is like almost exactly the same as the US dollar, which helps a lot too. So those are two advantages that I have, but if you're ever in Europe or anywhere else besides the United States, I'm pretty sure this guy is available. And if it's not available, you can get this almost the same jacket as this, but it's by Four Claw. I believe that guy's only $120. It has either seven or 800 fill power down. Um, and I just don't think it has quite as much down and it's just not quite as high quality as this guy. I don't think it has any chest pockets. It does have a hood cinch and a waist cinch. I'm not exactly sure, but go check that guy out. I think in the US it's $180 and in France it's $120. That's still a really good deal for a down jacket, but gonna be a little bit better deals in France, so sorry about anyone who's in the US. So one more thing about this guy I did not mention yet is that it has two absolutely massive drop pockets on the inside, which is essential. And just like my other Simon jacket I did a review on, this guy hits all the essential requirements for a down jacket, for me at least. And those are two huge drop pockets, a head cinch, so it works with and without a helmet, because it's so, it's so easy to see like a really awesome mountaineering down jacket, and it only has a helmet compatible hood. And then every time you're walking around, you know, you're just like a Sith Lord, and that's not acceptable. So two massive drop pockets, a head cinch, a two-way zipper, felt right here where my mouth is super, super awesome, two hand warmer pockets, two chest pockets, and I believe that's everything. Another really cool feature that this guy has is that by the cuffs right here, they've put a higher denier, more waterproof fabric so that when you're doing a ton of stuff with your hands, you're not gonna just ruin the, like this is thinner and packs up a little better and then right here by the hand, it's just much sturdier, stronger, more long lasting material, which is great. Not sure the exact, exact specs on that, but if you go to the link in the description, you can get all the specs on the jacket. Another thing I really like is that it does have on the inside here, nice little elastic fit and it goes, just like right inside the cuff. It doesn't try and fall into your palm, which is nice. Another thing I love about this guy is that when I try it on, it's absolutely mega puffy. There is a lot of down in this guy. 
and it's 850 fill power down. So in my research before actually pulling the trigger on this guy, I was kind of on the fence between this one and the 1x4 claw. The 1x4 claw is a great jacket. I'd, I'd rather would just spend 30 more dollars and have a few more pluses like the big drop pockets as well as the it's like a little bit higher quality than four claw just in general and it's specifically oriented towards mountaineering for the sizing guide i am six foot one 165 170 pounds and i'm not sure what my waist and chest is but the large size fits me perfectly if you're gonna have a bunch of layers on underneath this guy then i would probably consider going with the extra large just because European sizing runs a little bit smaller but the large fits me really well. One interesting thing too is that this guy kind of is like an ultralight parka. This is also a really good reason that it has a two-way zipper is the jacket goes really low on you. Like it almost goes down to thigh level, like upper thigh. So it covers your whole butt. So one other thing I want to mention quickly about this jacket is it has an incredibly puffy hood. Um, I'm like burning up right now, but has like all these baffles in it right here. Pretty much every point is like as insulated as the rest of the jacket, so. Alrighty, so now I'm just gonna kinda go into all the bells and whistles that are on this jacket in more detail. So right off the bat, you can tell this is a puffy boy. This is a big boy, very, very top of the level as far as warmth goes with down jackets. Uh, one thing I will say that you don't get for this really, really stellar price point that you do get in some other down jackets, which is really nice, is on the shoulders and kind of on the hands sometimes, wherever it's moisture prone, Sometimes in um, in the pit areas as well, companies will put synthetic insulation. For this guy, I do not believe there's any synthetic insulation. I'm pretty sure it is just traditional down throughout the whole jacket. Just for reference of how thick this puppy is, kind of get a good understanding of just, well, that's not really working out too well, but you can tell it is a thick boy. It is, it's not one of those jackets that you put on and, um, it just feels like basically just the outside material and that's it. It actually feels very, very well made and there, there is definitely enough down in here. Starting with the pockets, we have, like I said before, the two chest pockets. These guys are huge, there's a lot of space in here. Pretty sure you pack it up in the hand warmer pocket. Yes, so this zipper has an inside zipper, so that's how you know that it's the packing pocket. Another thing I forgot to mention is it actually comes with patch. Man, I am so excited to take this guy out. I actually, I've been eyeballing this guy for a long, long time. Alrighty, those big drop pockets I was talking about, they are right here. And as you can see, um, they are pretty massive. Basically, that whole area right here. And then another guy right in here. Got our little hood cinch on the back of the hood here, and a very floofy hood as well. Then another thing that I forgot to mention, the hood also has these two little guys, which are just for pulling down the main part of the hood over your face more. So last thing I'm gonna cover is, so usually on jackets, I don't like having the longer cuffs like this. I like when they're just a small elastic band. However, since these ones are kind of secluded inside the jacket, the jacket goes to here and the cuffs are like right here. So my main gripe with these things is that this big cuff part kind of just falls into your palm and then everything you grab, the cuff kind of grabs, it gets wet and just gross. With this guy, I don't think that's going to be a problem because it's so much deeper in the jacket. It actually you feel them like right about here on your wrist, not really like here sliding into your palm. So don't think I'll have a problem with those. All right, so coming around to the back of the jacket, you can see we got these big baffles here. And obviously time will tell how well this is gonna hold its down and if anything kind of gets mixed up. I'm usually really, really good about taking care of my gear and stuff. One thing I have noticed after kind of messing around with it and finishing up this whole video is I haven't seen a single feather yet. I haven't seen a single strand or anything coming off of it. And I've purchased and returned some three and four hundred dollar down jackets from some name brands that literally had things break on them the first, before I even took the tags off. 
had like feathers coming out immediately. Yeah, that's why I just think one big problem with buying from like super hardcore name brands now, like is that like 80% or 70%, I don't actually know, but a huge percentage of their customer base when they make things like this is people who are gonna wear it for fashion. And so while it is marketed as like an outdoor gear activity, but I feel like they've gotten lazy on the quality control side of things for people who actually need all the bells and whistles on a jacket to function properly. Whereas I don't know a single person who would buy gear from Simon and wear it for fashion. Yeah, not only that, but at the cheaper price, it seems like it's the same quality or even better than a lot of the products um, I've been reviewing lately from name brands. So, and same with Four Claw too. Alrighty, so that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Definitely absolute best bang for your buck snow jacket. Um, I'll link the couple of the Reddit pages below that I got some information on this guy on. And then probably in the next year or maybe like six months, um, I will be, well yeah, probably a year because it's about to be summer. Probably not gonna get a chance to take this guy out into the extreme cold for a while. I will be doing a long-term review of this guy. So considering I got this jacket literally just today and I don't have any miles on it yet, um, that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video. This is just a little overview on kind of why I got this jacket. I've been on the fence about it for a while, but I just didn't want to spend $150 on it because it's almost summer right now too. So it's like, oh, I don't really need it yet. But I've looked at so many, so many, so many down jackets and they are expensive. So to finally, to have a pretty decently well-made 850 fill power down jacket, that's the crazy part to me, 850 fill power for only $150 built for mountaineering. You just really can't beat that price point at all. And um, yeah, after having my other Simon jacket for two months, it's held up great. I've worn it every day. Absolutely love that guy. Um, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna be leaving France in like a couple weeks. I might as well pick this guy up now for next year, you know, cause it's not available in the States, I don't think. Yeah, so for any Americans who are outside of the US, whether it be France or England or anywhere in Europe or Australia or even Canada, I think. Find a decathlon and you can go pick this guy up. If not, they have a similar jacket to this guy uh, by Four Claw, but in the US it is 180. So I don't know, it's not super worth it to me. Still definitely a better deal than like most other jackets you'll find at REI or a lot of comparable brands. And then yeah, closing thoughts. I think the last thing I'll say is that I got this guy right here. Um, my other Simon jacket, which is 850 fill power down, all the bells and whistles of this guy, super, super lofty, super freaking warm, basically good down to like negative five degrees Celsius with nothing on underneath it. So just really good all purpose jacket, um, for a hundred bucks. And then I got this guy for 150 bucks. So basically I spent $250. And if I, if I did that with any other mainstream brand, Patagonia or Columbia or Arteryx, I mean, obviously Arteryx, Mountain Equipment, Mountain Hardware, Enlightened Equipment, literally any other mainstream brand, the, the combination of these two jackets would have been at least like 800 bucks for both of them. I mean, Patagonia's version of that jacket right there and all the other mainstream ones are around $300 and they're not even nearly as good as that. And all the other jackets that are this equivalent or less than this are like three, four, five hundred dollars, sometimes six, seven hundred or eight hundred dollars. For the quality of this jacket, the price, it's just really unbelievable in my opinion. So, uh, just thought I would share that piece of information with you. Yeah, not a gear test video, but would probably recommend and I don't know about the durability yet. And um, yeah, so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.